Hey guys, how are you doing? We all are watching videos, Ankit. We are at home, lockdown, coronavirus. Yes, I know that. Because of that, YouTube has restricted the video to be played at 480p only if you're watching this in phone. I know that. I know that. <sighs> but if you're watching this video in laptop, it should be fine. You should be able to play the video at high quality or 4K. I know that. Now let's talk about this video. So a few months back, I uploaded one video about custom setup, like how you can upgrade your laptop to work faster. I showed you everything. So in that video, first few seconds of that video, I created an amazing B-roll and you guys really loved it. Now that's what I'm going to create today. But before we go further and show you all my setup and everything, how we created, what camera I used, what lens I used, what is my setup and everything, let's watch the B-roll first. First, tell me which lens I used to shoot that video. Only one lens I used. Let me know in the comments below. I'll pause the video for you. <laughs> I hope you pause the video and let me know in the comments below. So most of the people would say that I use either 85 mm or 50 mm or 35 mm. Well, not. It's a wide angle lens. So this is the lens I use. It's a wide angle Sigma 16mm f1.4. It's an amazing lens. I really love this lens. And this is the camera I use. This is Sony a6300. These are the things I upgraded in my laptop. This is 8GB RAM and this is normal hard disk but I upgraded with SSD. These are the things I used and this is the laptop I used. Well, it's not that important. The important thing is I used this chair. Yes, this 200 rupees chair I used. This is matte finish black chair. Yeah, that's what I used as a base. <laughs> now, let me tell you what are the settings I used for this camera. The first thing I did is to set my camera at higher frame rate. I set it to 120 frames per second so that I can speed it up, slow it down. I can do a lot more in editing with a speed RAM. And the second thing I did is set my white balance to 5000. Like you can set it to any any value, but don't use auto white balance because it will be really difficult to color grade later because as you will change the angle, the color shift will happen and the color will change so always use fixed white balance yes now the third setting i used to set my camera to auto focus because this auto focus is really fast with this lens this is a prime lens so i just use auto focus instead of manual focus now let me tell you about my light this is really important guys this is the key light yeah that's gonna change the game if you're just using your tube light or normal light the effect is not gonna come up your videos are not gonna look good you know light is really important let's say if you're shooting outdoor also sunset and sunrise they are they're really good lights and when you shoot in these lights it the video comes out really really good same with the indoor when you're shooting indoor you should have this kind of soft box so that the light around here is very soft it's not harsh when you're gonna use the tube light it's it's very harsh and it's spreading all over so it's not gonna give you that contrasty video okay now let me remove this camera so that i can show you the light yes this is the light i am using this is sl60w from gorox you can just change the intensity of the light as well i've set this to 35 percent right now as you can see that i can change the intensity make it more soft and increase the intensity so I, right now i'm setting it to 35 percent yeah that's fine. Look now, it's looking so good. I know that it's getting overexposed, so let me change the setting. Now tell me how is it looking? Is it looking fine? Is it looking good? <laughs> now to take the first shot, I'm going to set my light that side. I'm going to place my laptop here and I'm going to sit here and I'm going to take shot from that side. Let me show you the scene. So I'm keeping my camera here as it's wide angle. So everything is just gonna come up. Yeah. So the angle right now from the camera is this side and the light is coming from this side. And I am taking the shot like this. I'm just going to open it up.
Now let's take the second shot. For this, I'm keeping my key light here in this direction, and I'm going to keep my laptop here. So the light is falling from this side. This is the brighter area. This is the darker area, and that's why this key light is really important. If you're going to shoot in tube light, it's not gonna look that cinematic. I just set the camera to this angle so that it will be easy for you to see what I'm shooting. So for this, I am going to take five to six takes of the same shot so that when I'm editing, I can pick up one of the shot which will come out the best. Now see how I'm shooting. So let's just turn on and let's start it from here and end here. Okay. This is fast. For the next shot, I'm going to get this light a little closer to this chair. So let me bring it closer. So for this shot, I'm just going to keep my chair like this and I'm going to place this here. And I am going to take the shot. So the same thing I'll do here, I'll take five to six shots and then I'll use the best one. Just let me just get closer. Here, one forward and one backward. Wow, really nice. Forward and then backward. For the last shot also, I'm just going to keep this like here and just take the shot. I'm just moving forward and backward. If I'll get some small data, I'll fix it in the post. Like I'll slow it down first and then I apply the warp stabilizer. I'll explain you. Now let's go to the computer and I will show you how I edited this video. So I'll give you the overview of the project like the song I used, sound effect I used, adjustment layer and different transition effects what I used. Let's just go to the Premiere Pro and let me show you. So this is my project. These are the two sound effects I used and this is the song I used. These are all the audio layers. And these are all the video layers. And this is adjustment layer. This is just basically cropping the video. And guys, these sound effects and songs are both are from Epidemic Sound. So if you want, you can go to the link in the description and sign up for one month free trial. I've always been using Epidemic Sound for all of my sound effects and songs. Now let's go to the first shot. Here in this shot, I have just scaled the video. As you can see that I just created a key point. So I just here did the scaling and I've applied the color grading from my AB color grading preset. I've always been using my AB color grading preset. If you want, you can go to the link in the description and check it out. And let's go to the second. Here in this second video, I've done two things mainly. First is masking and second is time remapping let me show you so this is the masking that i've used here let me just decrease the percentage to 25 percentage now you can see that it starts from here and it reveals a new video so if i just disable this masking let's say if i just delete this masking you will still see that it's the same video so i just created a mask so that I can reveal a new video. Here I've nested this sequence. So why I've nested this sequence? Because whenever you're applying the time remapping or when you're doing the masking, you always have to nest it first and then do it. So here I've 
nested the sequence and as you can see that I've applied the time remapping. Once I open this, double click this and you will see the original video. Here I've set the speed to 20%. This is the next clip. Guys, on the last clip also I've applied the color grading preset. Let me just show you the before and after. Here on this also I have applied the color grading preset. This is before and this is after. And I've applied the warp stabilizer as well. And I've set the percentage to only 5%. By default, it sets to 50%. On this clip, I've done mainly two things. First, I've slowed down the speed to 20%. And then I did the time remapping after I nested the clip. Remember, I told you that you have to nest it first. And then after time remapping, I nested it again to apply the warp stabilizer. If I open this, you will see that there is time remapping. Just increase the speed and decrease it. Guys, if you want to know in detail about the time remapping or speed ramping, you just go to the link in the description. I'll mention few videos. I've already created tutorials on these topics. So I'm not going to explain how I how I did the time remapping, like speeding up the clip and slow it down. I've explained it there. So just go to the link in the description and you can see all of the videos I've created. Now, before I go to the last clip, let's go back here and let me show you the sound effect I've used here. See, just after the masking, this goes to max. So sound effect starts here from zero and it goes to the maximum volume at this point. Here I've applied one more whoosh effect. This is a different whoosh effect and this is my last clip. In this clip, what I have done is I have reversed the speed and I've applied the same time mapping on this clip as well. This was the original clip. Let me show you. If you see here, speed is 20% and it's in reverse direction. So guys, that's all. That's all from the video. This was the small breakdown of my B-roll. So guys, if you like this video, hit a like button and let me know in the comments below what are your suggestions for the future coming of few tutorials and let me know if you have any confusion we can talk about this in comments and for future video guys i'll see you in my next video till then take care bye bye be home be safe and bye bye hello everybody what are you doing ankit we're at home we are locked down what are you supposed to do why don't you create something so that we can learn from you Okay, <laughs> in this video, I am going to teach you something so that you can learn from me. This is bullshit acting you're doing right now.